I wake up outside of my body most days, no attempt to become whole, no intention of resurrecting the dead. I collect the parts of myself that are willing, and I brew, and I chant, and I conjure myself into a beautiful human. Because you know, your boy has got to look good. Beat for the gods, <laughs> sane for the family, pre presentable for my students. Most days, I astral project to work, barely breathing, and no one notices. I have mastered life as an apparition. This is who I have become. Sharp and rough around the edges of the knife, failing to make a meal out of my rest. My mother tells me that God won't give me more than I can handle. So every day I am casting survival spells to camouflage the damage, to burn these bruises, to make these panic attacks sound more like laughter. I don't know how I am able to survive this earth when I am always walking dead. But somehow I prevail. And somewhere I fall. And sometimes this flesh cracks open, a silhouette of my demons crawling out of the abyss. Some days, I lose control of this magic. And darkness absolutely takes over. When all of me is without form and void, I think about God. I know she too has lived this pain. How else would you explain the beginning of time? When God said, let there be light, I'm sure she was tired of living in the dark. Breathed air into us, a reminder that life too can be salvaged. So, when I dance or laugh or give you life so effortlessly, so when you see a white bright orb circulate my dark black body. It is not like I don't know pain. It's that I have chosen to live just like my God would in light. <laughs>